Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing with uh, Zodiac Shadows again, simply because uh, I did some editing to the list and ultimately have found some things that uh, that I'm at least a little bit better of a fan of. Now, uh, this hand is odd, but manageable, um, in the essence of I can Normal Summon Dragon, Instant Fusion Norden, and do some stuff there. And I should still be able to end with... I can end with a Shekinaga with a card in hand. Yeah. Um, and then doing the Zodiac combo. So yes, that is what we will do. Um, this all falls flat if he has a Max C or something like that. And I have no idea what he's playing. Um, so there, there is that to note. Is that I have no idea what's going on. Fuck! No! Not what I want. Extreme dislike. Um... Okay, so I guess from here then, I just summon the Winda, and I recur my Shadal Fusion, um, and get, uh, and get a Beast Draw, because that's, I mean, it's still not as bad as it could be. I mean, I drew this Bear Man, which absolutely is garbage, but, I mean, I still get to recur the Fusion. I have him under Winda now, depending on whether or not he Kaijus it, is going to be the, uh, the key factor there, and otherwise... I think I'm in a decent spot. Uh, so I'll send Beast. Yeah, I'll send Beast to try and draw a card, get something like a choice, like Dimensional Barrier. Terratop. That's a pretty good card. At least that means I have a good follow-up next turn. So there is that. Uh, but yeah, so I was going to Instant Fusion to Norden, make Bullhorn, use Bullhorn to search Molmorat, or excuse me, Rat Pierre, then should all fuse with the Squamata and the uh, Rat into Shekinaga, and then I was going to go Tiger Mortar, detach, re-equip the rat, and then things were going to be, you know, off to the races, basically, because I'd be able to end with it, I guess, so Emerald and doing all that sort of stuff. So, ah, Terror Top and a Nemesis Warrior. Interesting. Yeah, okay, so you just can't play out of window. I feel like such an asshole, but I mean, shit. I mean, that's what you get. Um, that's what you get when you literally just take the loss to a card like this. Um, so what I've got here is that, uh, this, uh, this makes all level 4 beast warriors higher levels. Uh, so I just get to, I literally just get to attack over these. Um, yeah, I do. Um, he can use this on this turn to summon, yeah, the Umastrix, which is definitely going to be a problematic card for me to have to deal with. Uh, do I want to replay this? I could definitely not kill it. It'll banish my Winda, but then that'll allow me to summon my Terra Top, and then do my things from there, and then be able to follow it up with a Shadal Fusion. So, um, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I can't actually figure out. What I yes, I'm fine with this Winda getting banished. I've already recurred my Shadal Fusion. Um, I actually probably just should have attacked with the Winda. Um, all right, so there's that. So now. I get to normal summon this and do my entire string of play unless I get another maxi. Fucking brilliant. Alright. This is getting out of hand. This is getting irritating. <laughs> this is just getting ridiculous. Um, I'm half tempted to give him as many cards as I can uh, just because I can make check. Uh, but no, I don't want to do that. This is terrible. Man, this entire play line was very reliant on him not having the second copy of Max C. And here we are, dealing with the Max C again. What a life. Alright, so now he gets this. So now I'm actually playing from behind, because uh, he does get to banish cards. So there's that. But this will now be face up. So, there's that. So yeah, Dragon is going away. That's the only copy of Dragon in the main deck, but I don't actually care, because outing things like face-up hidden cities and things like that are going to be something that Drancy has pretty good at. This Bear Man is giving me the dick. It's just, ugh, it's such an asshole card to draw. Um, but it is in the list, because, I mean, just drawing cards to try and dig through your fusion spells is typically correct. Um, so there is that. But so Stalagmo here doing this, and he's going to be able to attack with both of these. I really just kind of actually need to draw another, uh, I can't draw Instant Fusion, I can't draw, um, I can't draw Shadal Fusion, well I can draw Shadal Fusion because it's in my hands, lol, uh, but I can Shadal Fuse if I draw a, um, an Earth, like Viper, um, or Whiptail, 
So he's going straight into this, face down, so that he has to have that. Um, and now he's got Elements of Triangle of Zodiac Beast, which he gets to follow up with. Man, I wish I could draw my maxis. A little upset. Um, but, you know, let's see. Shekinaga is when a special summon monster activates its effect. So, like, I'd be able to attack this and negate its effect if I go into Shek. Uh, but at least he's going into an extra deck card. So that means I can shit off use for literally free. Meaning I can just go straight for Shekinaga. Um, so, like, that's actually not even a thing. In fact, this is probably just not the correct time to do this play. Uh, because you know I have shit all fusion in hand. He has another rat in his hand. That's a bit disconcerting. But, um, but yeah, so now I've got to basically make Shek is the first order of business. And then from there, uh, so yeah, I just get to make Shek. And then I get to draw a card off of Beast. Or, or, hmm, gotta think. Basically... I just need to see what my next card is, because if it's anything like another Terror Top, if it's a rat, if it's something like that, then it's just going to be really good for me. Uh, really? Oh, you could search, you could search this, which is basically a worse Sinister Shadow game. Okay, I see it. Alright, I need to read this card exactly. Um, any number of face down, change them to the face up defense position, count the number of ghost tricks. Okay, so he's not going to be able to book him in any of my things. That's a rat! Whoa! Alright. So, this was actually just really decent, because depending on what happens here is going to be how this goes. Uh, but So I'm just going to send this and a, I guess, a Viper. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, Maxi is kind of useless to me as well, because of the fact that I've literally, literally just been given the absolute shaft uh, when it comes to this sort of stuff. So there is that. Uh, but so I'll use this to send. I can send Hedgehog. Um, Hedgehog would allow me to search for a Shadal, and in fact, it would probably actually set me up very nicely. Or I could just go ahead and get Falco. Uh, but I could get Falco off of the Hedgehog, so yeah. I'm, I'm expecting this Shek to stick around, even though I know he has a Drancia and a Numistrix. Uh, so that's the ultimate. Uh, that's the ultimate disrespect that I'm actually just giving, is that. I'm expecting it to just stay around, <laughs> um, and that's probably not going to actually happen. Um, in fact, both of these are very handily probably just going to be going away. Uh, very quickly, in fact, is probably what's going to happen. Uh, but I do have access to a fusion that I could do. Um, so what this does is this gets to negate and destroy. So uh, Ghost Trick Scare, yeah. He's going to flip up his Umastrix and stuff, but I'm going to be able to keep one of them. Um, so that's the thing, is that whether or not he gets rid of the Shek or the, uh, or the, the other thing is going to be what, uh, what causes this. Um, these don't miss timing, right? Yeah, they don't. Okay. I had to read them again for a second because I was actually really curious as to whether or not it missed timing. But so now my rat is gone. Um, and I just drew a viper, which is decently good. Um... But, so, from here, I'm just going to attack over... I can't attack the Umastrix. That's such a kick in the ass. Um, but I can just keep negating it turn by turn with Shek. Um, so I'm just going to try to attack the Nemesis Warrior, even though... No, I don't want to attack that. It's literally free. So I'll attack this, uh, the Stalagma. Because did he actually use it to get draws? No, he did not. Uh, so I do not want to actually allow him chances to do that sort of thing. And so him using the Nemesis Warrior here is actually fine. Um, what is this? What is that card? Um, target a set monster your opponent controls, take control of it. Okay, I'm completely okay with that card. Um, I'm not at all afraid of it, but I'll just attack this Ghost Trick Angel Mischief now. So that actually worked out in my favor. I actually wanted him to do that, because that meant that I was dealing with more things. Um, and so now I've got the Shek loaded with a Falco in my hand, which the Falco can summon itself back. Um, not ideal because it's uh, it would be pretty pretty bad for me um, to do that uh, if he kills the uh, if he kills the Falco uh, because the Falco has already used up its effect <laughs> but I do get to go next turn into a Drancia and do some stuff uh, so I mean there's at least that oh he's gonna take control of my Falco so that it just doesn't go away what an amazing hand um, let's see yeah 
until your next end phase, meaning he's going to take control of it until the end of this turn, meaning it's actually just safe. Oh my god, that's great. That could that worked out so much better than I could have ever hoped. He can't flip it because it was summoned this turn. Man, that worked out great for me. I was expecting him to flip this and just kill it. But no, this will work fine. Oh my god, here comes another Dryden. Um, whoop. Well, so Dryden plus these. Is this game? This is 37. Damn it. Oh, well, really? Oh, he must only play one Dryden. Because that would have been just the go-to card. Um, or is there two Drydents in the grave? I need to check. No, there's only one. He might only just be playing one of each. I mean, that's something I've seen a lot of people do on the competitive scene as well, just because they're like, by the time I make the one Dryden, I have the Emerald out, and if I protect the Emerald, then I can put the Dryden back after I detach it next turn off something like Tiger Mortar. Ah, never mind. Did he just draw that? Was that just ripped straight away? That's that's a bit of a of a of a kick in the ass. If it was. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so he's going to be able to summon this, and if he has anything like Castell, Utopia, the Lightning, even, in his deck, then he's going to just kill me this turn. Castell. Hell yeah. I lose. Alright. Well, let's not, let's not deal with two Maxis again. That'd be pretty nice. Um, that was basically what cost me this game, was the fact that I just could not play into the Maxis, because I know what kind of deck he's playing. Um, so that's a bit unfortunate. Come on, accept the rematch. You know you want to. You know that's what we're doing. If you're trying to talk to me in-game, I've got it muted because I don't like people typing to me when I'm trying to do videos. Um, as if as if that wasn't clear. Uh, but so, okay. I've got the uh, I've got the combo. I've got the cambo. Let's see. and I've also got my own maxi. Very nice. Very nice that the game decided to bless me with this card. <laughs> but uh, I get to do the uh, the terra top play into my invoker into my uh, Momorat. So now, the thing is, is do I want to take the risk and draw cards with Bear Man, or do I want to get the, uh, do I want to get the guaranteed fusion spell in the form of the Lunalite Black Sheep? Uh, that is the biggest, biggest, biggest question here um, as to, uh, as to what I want to be doing. Is do I want to do the guaranteed fusion play and guarantee a Winda? Uh, or do I want to try and draw cards and draw into one of the literal six fusion spells, but also draw into trap cards to complement the Max C? Um, it's a it's a very it's a very nice question that I have for myself, but we will see. Uh, so yes, see Bullhorn, and I'm not too worried about Emerald um, at this point in time because of the fact that I mean if I am doing any sort of stuff like that, I mean I'm just going to be going for the for the fusion spell. Uh, so fusion spell plus emerald would be one draw two draws off a of beast plus a window So actually yes, I'm definitely going for that play I am being an absolute dangus for no apparent reason other than I just feel like it because I'm gonna search the black sheep and I'm going to then search Polly and That's gonna guarantee me a window and then I get to draw a card off beast and it just sets up my entire engine Yeah, I don't know why I'm even trying to entertain the thought of bear man. It's definitely not the better play here because this is a guaranteed play line, um, and that's something that you want. You want those. <laughs> you want those. We take those. Please give. Um, but so we'll make the emerald here and shuffle back those those rats. Um, two rats and a wild bow because I've already got two tiger mortars in the extra deck or one that is left. Um, so that's emptiness. That's really good. Um, so now I can use this, fusing into Zawinda, and going from here. So I got a draw off the Emerald, and I'm about to summon back the Falco, and get a draw off of the Beast. So that's pretty good. This Emptiness actually doesn't have a lot of another Maxi. Well, I guess the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro drawing algorithms are just giving every single one of us every Maxi that we can want in multiples. Um, so I don't know how well that one's meant to structure, but this emptiness is going to be pretty alright, but not the best. I'm going to pop this. He can only activate one a turn. Not too worried about it. Um, ooh! Ooh, he's playing this card too! Um, I'm going to emptiness here. Um, I'm going to emptiness here, 
because, I mean, might as well, right? Seems kind of good. Um, does he still have to destroy the cards? I uh, don't think he does. Or does he? It looks like he actually might. If it's still prompting him to uh, to do these things, then it means he still just has to summon the monster. Hmm, interesting. And I just now realized that I've got double Maxi and Emptiness and Winda, and so like Maxi is incredibly weak with the Winda, he does still have to destroy the cards. That's so cute. That's so adorable. Now, does this what, banish them? Or send them to grave? Um, and banish up to three. Yes. Oh, it lets him look at it? Okay, that's fine. So he's banishing, what did he banish? A Winda, the Norden, and the em and the second Emerald. Fair. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, can't argue against that one. But uh, from here, I literally just get to poke, poke, and do stuff. Uh, so he didn't banish any of my zoo cards because he just knows that I've got access into stuff. So the smart move here would be to attack over my Falco. Because the Falco would not be able to summon its uh, its things back. But he's attacking over the Invoker, which takes out the Emptiness. Which means that now next turn I can flip up the Falco. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting choice of play. I drew the Instant Fusion. Well, I can still Instant Fusion for nothing, um, unless I fuse away with his Winda. So I guess there's that. But, so we'll use the Falco to bring back the Beast. Um, and then I can use the Emerald to put back cards and draw things. So I'll put back the Invoker, I'll put back this, and I will put back uh, da, 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 uh, the Bullhorn. Yes? No. Yes? No. Yes. No! That's not even the Bullhorn! <laughs> I just clicked way too early! <laughs> Whoops! Um, dimensional Barrier on Xyz. What a nice choice of play! Yes, yes. I know the only card in his hand is now Bastard Man, so, like, hmm. Uh, so I can just use this to attack, and then attack with these, and all he's got in his hand is, uh, is Bastaros. Or, is it Bastaros, or is it, like, Lithazam? Can't remember. Can't remember which one the Earth one is. I'm gonna actually go check on that. Um, what? <laughs> uh, oh. Well, I guess it's not gonna tell me, because it wasn't like revealed long enough or it's not it's not something that's stored in the log at least not something I can find quickly uh, but I'm gonna set this as a bluff and I'm gonna pass my turn because if there's something I love doing it's setting cards that I have no use for <laughs> it's something that I just do don't question it just go with it uh, but so I know he has the true king in his hand that's a viper that's really good <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and max E here cause that means he gets to banish this window Fuck me! <laughs> Whoa! Um. Well, nope. Never mind. He doesn't get to do it. I've I've scared him away with the maxi. This is a window, mate. Mate, this is a window. You should have attacked it. Made Drancia attacked it. But that still means that you have like no no playline because of the fact that you um that you lose your monster to battle. So there is that. Uh, but we'll set this. We'll use its effect to search for. I can only assume the last card in my deck is. Uh, that's going to be of use here is like Dragon. Uh, but now I've got the Bear Man, which I've drawn again. But that's okay, because it's a bear and it's a man. Um, but so now I get to activate this, putting it under here. I can kill this with Falco. I could do all of these very juicy things. Um. And this is just game from here. Uh, but yeah, so that was actually... That Viper actually wasn't as good of a draw as I thought it was. Um, initially, when I saw it come down. Because he would Viper into an Xyz, and then he would attack into my window, and then the Xyz would die. <laughs> and then, and only then, would uh, would there be uh, some things that could be done about it in the form of... Uh, in the form of uh, the Viper banishing the window, And then he would still only have the one True King in hand. So yeah, that was actually just super bad for him. Um, in many regards. Uh, but so, the True King is in this deck, and that's something I definitely need to keep in mind. If he's able to do that again. Luckily, he can only banish cards of different names. So, he can't, like, banish all of my, like, Drancias and stuff like that. And I've drawn 
Shadal Fusion, Terror Top, and Elemental Triangle of the Zodiac Beast. Oh, excuse me, Zodiac Barrage. Uh, but he gets to go Hidden City, search a card, set up his Flip Flop Control. I can't believe we just randomly decided to play Flip Flop Control decks against each other. Um, <laughs> like, this wasn't planned. I can guarantee you this. I just said, hey, let's play. And we were going to play, like, three different matches. And this is the first one that we've played. And we both randomly brought this deck, like flip decks, Zodiac flip deck. <laughs> so I'm I'm very I'm very both shocked and surprised and enthralled. Uh, but so I get to start my turn with a Shadal Fusion. Uh, so that's actually very good because that means I get to immediately out the Drancia or the uh, Dryadent, and then I get to use Elemental Triangle uh, to summon my Rat, and then I can go into the probably. Not, well, I've got the El Shadal, so I don't think I can. I think I, I think I could get away with doing the uh, the Bear Man play just to draw cards, um, but I can't conduct my battle phase the turn I use Giant Trainer, so that would actually just be a problem. So did he add what Viper? Is that what he added? Yeah, he added Whip Tail. So he added the he added the Viper, the Viper Man, and now he is going into Emerald, which means that there's no way he can play around Shadal Fusion by popping his own Dryadent, which is good for me. And so these are getting shuffled back. That means that the next turn I could literally start with Terra Top if I wanted to. And I think I will. I will start with Terra Top just so that I take the uh, Takatomborg out of the deck. Um, seems pretty uh, pretty choice as far as how things go. Nemesis Archer. And so here's the thing here is that that he he started with normal summoning Rat. And so if he had had Triangle or excuse me Barrage or Terra Top for that he could have summoned the Nemesis Archer and then popped it with Dryden, and that would be a really cool play. This hand is, like, perfect. This hand is great. I cannot believe that this hand is what it is. Uh, but so we'll tear a top into the Borg, the Brick Borg, and then we'll Shadal Fusion. And so Shadal Fusing here will allow me to go straight into Shek, which will negate the Drancia because I have Hedgehog in hand. And then that will further fuel my El Shadal Fusion, which would be a fan Fan fantastic. Um, Grim Fandango. Uh, but so we'll use Viper and a Beast from the Decaruni. And then so this happens. And so since he didn't go ahead and use Dryden to pop my Terra Top, now I just get to special the board. Um, and so from here, it's just really good for me. Because now I get to go into Invoker and I've got Instant Fusion. Whoa. Like, come on, man. In fact, now that I think about it, because my deck has Instant Fusion in it, uh, it's probably better for me to play two Broad Bull rather than two Tiger Mortar, just because Instant Fusion can go into Broad Bull, um, like straight, and get a search. Like that actually might just be the realest thing. Uh, but so for this, come on, uh, the Monkey Boar, Borbo, yeah, it's not a monkey, it is a boar, but it looks like a monkey. I don't understand. Uh, at least it looks like a monkey to me, much more than a fucking boar. Uh, so we'll just deal with this in the way that the natural order of things meant for it to. In the form of basically having this game on lockdown and El Shadal Fusion, so I might just be able to kill him this turn. I think I just have an OTK, um, which is sad to say, but it might be an OTK. Uh, because from here I get to search Viper or Whip Tail. I haven't normal summoned yet, so I actually get to do that too. Uh, <laughs> this is just a lot of stuff um, that I have access into doing. Uh, so I'll summon this other rat, and then I'll use this to search for the whip, the whip viper, the whip tail, and that will be good for me. I've got so many searchable beast warriors in this deck now that I think about it, because of the bear man and all that. Uh, so there is, there's definitely, definitely things that I can use. Uh, but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use El Dridento on his uh, Emerald because I can just attack over it, over the uh, over the other Drident. Not too big of an issue. Uh, so I'll just do this on Emerald. Um, this is literally a non-factor because of the fact that Shekinaga is here. So that's very good. That makes Shadal Fusion such a hard counter for Drident too. It's so, it's so inherently good at how much of a hard counter Shadal Fusion is uh, for Drident. So it's it's fantastic, and this hand was absolutely perfect. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that it wasn't, 
this went so far in my in my advantage that uh, that I'm a little bit upset about it, to be honest. Uh, because I mean, the game is fast, but I don't like to end games fast. I like to be cool and slow about it. Um, I could have shuffled back Viper and summoned another one out of deck, but we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna go for the throat. Uh, so we will attack this, and from here, the Shek will get to do its thing, because it's basically guaranteed he's going to activate it at this point, or it just dies. Uh, but it dies regardless, so it doesn't actually matter. And so from here, we'll get to use this, and discard the, uh, the Thingo. Oh. Ooh. I see you. I attacked with this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this under this uh, to negate the uh, the battle. Uh, well, actually, it's being destroyed. I don't know why I even did that. <laughs> I started getting way too ahead of myself. Um, man, what if Whiptail offered some form of destruction prevention? That would be insane. Um, that would have been the best card in the deck. <laughs> like for the for the search of Broadbull, because it would just be like, hey, the Drancia can't be destroyed by battle or card effect, mate, and it banishes shit, and it pops cards. Fight me. Um, that would have been like the best. But as it stands, that's not how things are going. Uh, so he gets to use this to shuffle back cards. He's just shotgunning it, I guess, to prolong the game. Maybe he plays some form of like battle stop trap. I don't know. Um, hopefully, well, even if he does, if it's something like Swift Scarecrow or Battle Fader, well, no, Battle Fader wouldn't be stopped, but Swift Scarecrow would. Because Swift Scarecrow, I would be able to El Shaddaal away the Shekinaga and whatever Earth Monster is attacking, so literally any of these can be El Shaddaal away. Um, it's actually not even a factor. Why are you taking so much time, my man? Like, hmm, interesting. I mean, I know you're trying to give me time to ramble. But, like, that wasn't part of our deal. <laughs> um, that's not something I need, is that I can ramble on in my own time, literally, for anything that is necessary. And I hope that he's not typing to me, because I can't see that. So, I mean, that's that's going to be something that's not, um, not thing. Oh, he's in the Discord saying the power in my house just went off. Rip. Okay, well, this is literally game on board anyway because of the El Shadal fusion. So I don't think I'm too worried about the game uh, not having a conclusion. But yeah, I literally just looked in the Discord and it says the power in my house just went off. So, um, <laughs> so, okay then. <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. But yeah, like this is literally game on board. This is uh, 12 plus 16 plus 26. So that's 28. That's uh, 34, 54, 62, 72 plus El Shadal. Um, into uh, another Shekinaga or a Winda even. I could just do Shekinaga and the uh, Falco into Winda or the dragon that I'm going to be searching um, and then make a Winda and attack for game there. So like this this is 100% undisputed game um, unless he has a battle trap in his hand, a battle hand trap, a battle stopper, which I don't believe he does. But anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching. This one was kind of a weird one in terms of how it ended, but I mean, hey, at least it happened here and not earlier in the match, so I don't have to refilm it, even though I probably should, but whatever. I'm just going to keep it as it is because I plan on doing a lot more games with this uh, with this deck anyway, because uh, ever since I tweaked it around into the deck list you see on screen, I have been having actually a little bit more fun and success with it. I'm still not sold on the Bear Man, though. That's something that, uh, that a buddy of mine told me that he's been playing. And I'm testing it, but I don't think it's necessary, nor do I think it's optimal, maybe. Like, it just depends. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the nonsense you usually do. If you know some people that might also like my content and you are one of my loyal subscribers, maybe consider sharing my content around to them and maybe encouraging them to subscribe as well. Also, let me know what you uh, would like to see in coming uh, future videos in terms of, like, decks that you'd like me to play and stuff like that. But other than that, links are in the description to my Facebook page if you want to connect with me, chat with me, whatever. And a link to my Patreon if you want to support me directly to help make better future content, as well as getting in on a monthly giveaway. If you can pledge anything, even as little as a dollar a month, it just helps out a ton in terms of making future projects possible, like maybe live streaming at locals, live streaming regionals even, maybe. Who knows? Getting better equipment so I can actually get more deck profiles at events that I go to, because I'm set up for literally like seven regionals to go to in the next two months. 
So, uh, so like, there's all this is options. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, as I've already said. Thank you for watching, as always. Thanks for your time, as usual. Let me know what you think. And as always, guys, take care. I will see you in the next video.